is where you can start replacing incomes, you know, adding additional income streams as well. So this is the power, you know, I've been basically working for Mexico from the last six years as an analyst and that location freedom, that time freedom, and that financial freedom does, it takes work, right? So the courses are a great way to start. This is the kind of example that we're looking at when we're looking at trades. So this is one that went out uh, that we saw a TP4 on. So 21.56 in under two days, 21.5%. So um, kind of what we're looking at behind the curtain, we were talking about the indicators, some of the stuff that we cover on the UTC call. So basically we're looking at momentum shifts in the markets. So we put out these trade setups looking at bottoms and then looking at the rebounds for some of these. So we can make profits in any market, whether the market is crashing, you know, we wait out, like we saw this, there was a big dump, but it's just like an elastic band or a slingshot, you know, it has to have balance one way or the other. So it's always going to come back uh, to some of our indicators, some of our uh, support and resistance zones, and uh, it can look really solid there. We're just giving what the market uh, gives us, right? So same kind of thing uh, with the detonator. This is only for UTC students. This is an indicator that comes with it for lifetime. And this is what I use. We get the green dot print and we're seeing some bullish divergence, a safe bet would be waiting for that entry zone. So we want to see it break above and likely make support. It doesn't always, sometimes we do see these uh, really just take off, but ideally, you know, it can even come up to TP1 before retracing to that entry zone and then proceeding higher. So not always the case, but this is kind of what I'm looking for. And those are the plays that are quite safe um, you're seeing that momentum shift and the markets prove themselves. So a little bit of resistance uh, after TP1, but that's where, you know, you can make some nice profits and potentially, you know, no guarantees. And we can see some um, movement over, you know, while we're waiting for some of the longer term plays to pan out. But regardless of what Bitcoin does, we can make some profit. Lots more to come. Um, it really makes things a whole lot easier when you're waiting for the markets to rebound to make some profits in the meantime right so we call it the earn while you learn model that's a part of what we're doing here today we want to make sure that people are getting results and then you're going to continue to learn you've got some incentive it's really tough to you know jump into setups and trading and all that if you're having a hard time putting food on the table or there's rent or whatever there's you know issues that come across it's been a tough year tough two years tough three years in the crypto markets and uh it's we want to make sure that we're giving back and the community is seeing results too, not just us, right? Just the way that the markets have changed, you know, not that long ago, a few months ago, we were looking at pretty consistently putting in trades Sunday night, Monday morning, taking profits Tuesday night, Wednesday morning, markets are down Thursday, Friday, and then we're getting back into the market Saturday, Sunday. It was like six months of every single week. Now it's evolved a little bit. It's changed a little bit. We're seeing pumps on Thursday, Fridays. You know, Sunday, Monday are down days and Tuesday things are starting to pick up sometimes. So not always. We're seeing coins, you know, really break um, their own trends and getting away from the markets and really breaking away from the rest. It's really amazing, Corey, if you also look, I, I've now I took in the DeFi course for the past two, three weeks. Um, you know, that people say that crypto is done. And if you look at all the technology behind it with DeFi, it's only getting started. It's infant stages. It's infant stages. We yes. are really in the best place. Like Marius also says, we're always in the, we're really in the best place now of crypto where it is at now. So yeah. to get that education down is really essential. It's huge. And there's something for everybody, right? Like that's where it can be a bit to manage at first, but really finding your path, you can add step by step by step. You know, we've got thousands of people that have gone through now. You know, the hollow knots is typically the first place to start. I definitely recommend it. I know Justin's gone through it himself, um, where it really lays that foundation and you can replace or at least generate additional income on the side, you know, that side hustle where you don't have to invest into a business to start generating you capital. The capital that you're using is the capital that you're growing, right? So uh, just, I think you were telling me a, a story about Wendy with a thousand dollar trade that she was doing um, live <laughs> with the community. Yeah, that that's super powerful. When you jump on the Hold Knots course and it's live, you're trading with everyone in the course. You're trading with Wendy. You're watching how she's doing TA, how she's spotting coins. And we, we were in a really good time in the market when our live class was. 
And I watched her just use $1,000, I think across four different coins and make 50% within the half hour, 45 minutes that we were trading. It was just incredible. And I got to copy trade her. So it was <laughs> it was great for everybody on that course. Super powerful. But it then is amazing. I mean, then is amazing, Justin. If you're part of that community too in a den, those people are busy. And it's amazing <laughs> the coins they get and the percentages they scalp with that. So definitely the den is a place to be after the older not schools as well. Maurice, Absolutely. anything from you? You very quiet today. <laughs> no, I'm I'm just listening, you know. No, we we had a really great um webinar last night. I I think it uh, went well last night, but we were there for about two, two hours, two and a half yes. hours. So I, I thought, was okay, right, let me listen to what Corey is saying. <laughs> but uh, I, I posted out some of those things uh, just here and there, a screenshot on Twitter. But uh, people need to understand, you know, this DeFi market's going to move. Uh, but, um, you know, the thing is, you know, what I wish that there were people that trained me before I got started, Corey, in cryptos, way back in 2013 when I bought my first Litecoin. The, thir the first Litecoin I bought, <laughs> I spent $5 and I bought Litecoin because <laughs> I wanted to test the system, but I bought Litecoin at 30 cents. But then in incrementally, I just went and bought and bought and bought and bought and uh, never sold those coins that I bought. But if I had the this information that we have today, hmm. I think I would have been probably probably way better off because... You know, I, I would have known where the tops are better, where the lows are, where to get in, when to get out. More important, when to get out. Mm. So people need to realize that the courses that we have developed here is developed out of experience. Now, that makes a big difference. Yeah. It makes a very big difference. In 2001, uh, I, I got a lot of shares in Apple, 2000, 2001. Uh, just a quick story for people. It was worth about 50,000 at that time. If I never sold it, it would have been today worth 11 million. But the fool that I was, it went up to a dollar. A dollar, think about this, for Apple share in 2000. Then it dropped down to 50 cents and I got nervous. So I saw my $50,000 go to 25. Then I saw it go down to 30 cents and I sold. I sold at 20 cents. So I lost a lot. I sold and got five or 10,000 back. I didn't need the money at that time, Corey. And then if I never sold it, Today, it would have been $11 million. Now, the same principle applies now. If we do these courses, we use the detonator, we, we do the DTM essentials, we understand what the market is going to do, I would have never made that mistake. Yeah. So, Corey, you're responsible for me losing that. Why did you not become a friend of mine way back in 1999? I think you were still in school. You could have saved me a lot of money there. Yeah, I was definitely but still but no, school. think about it. Really think about it. You know, uh, this is crucial. Yeah. Unfortunately, you lose the money. Then you come out oh, and you say, I should have done it. You do. You need to do it now. Like you say, Maurice, there's always infant stages now, eh? The markets. It's still infants. Oh, gee. It's still baby, they baby steps. Infant. Mm. You know, you look at what happened with uh, FTX and, uh, okay, let's look at Mount Gox. You look at, let's say after that, you got um, the Bitfinex crash. Let's say we move forward, you had COVID. Now we had look at Celsius this year. This year was actually a really rough year, like you also mentioned when you started, Corey. We had Celsius, really rough year. And then we thought, okay, Celsius is okay, but then we got UST and Luna. Yeah. And it spooked people. And then we thought it was over. And then we got this FTX crash. But the very important thing that people need to remember, the FTX crash was supposed to be the mother of all crashes. Now, Bitcoin only dropped 13% lower than the 18 June 2022 low, 13%. But the altcoins, about 90% of them never dropped lower. This is the strength of the market. So people need to understand that when you do these courses, the training courses, you're going to get all these things. You're going to get taught all those things. And you're going to understand when to buy, when to sell. That's the most important. doesn't matter what the market does. But I tell you what, we are setting up here for a huge boom because the strength of the market is here. In my opinion, this is infant stages. I thought we're on our way to a million dollars. But I, I reckon we're going to blow Bitcoin out over a million dollars. And we're just going to go up. Uh, you know, generational wealth is going to be made here. If people just go back to the Apple charts and just go, go, and, go and have a look and see what Apple did since 1999, and you can get an idea of what can happen, happen with Bitcoin. 
and not necessarily Bitcoin. Bitcoin is not going to be the big mother of all coins that's going to make you uh, a lot of money. There's going to be other coins, and those are the coins that you guys have on DTM. You know, which uh, I said last night on the, on the call, I'm like a little kid in the candy store. I can't wait when there's a new call. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I've got you on. You know, the notifications are on, and it pops on my phone. I think a lot of people are in that same boat where it's just, they're hungry. There's the opportunity. We can see it and it's just how to best capture it. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Be right. People are strong. You know, we're all going to rebound. Mm -hmm. You know, this, this is only a mental period that we are going through. It breaks mm -hmm. people mentally. But the thing is, Nico, you know it, I know it. When this is done, mm -hmm. the next cycle, up cycle, we're going to be stronger. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then when there's another crash coming, we're going to know what to do. Yeah. And that is what makes you that multi-millionaire. You, 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 you hear, and if you watch this video, you're at the right place at the right time. Believe it, achieve it, it's going to happen.